In the previous two movies, we looked at the note database and we looked at creating keynotes from our callouts. I'd like to look at something different and I'd like to look at the general notes. So if I find my general notes, there, there they are there, general notes. Let's just have a look. So I'm going to use general notes and I'm going to use uh, note description from the database. Now you might remember when I did flooring, I actually called it flooring and then I wrote the note. What I've done with all of these, this is called roofing, this is called purlins and so on. So let's have a look. We're going to OK that. I'm going to click here and I need to add a note. So now I'm going to choose the note that I've used before. That's this one here. I don't want to use my demo one. What do we want for our foundations? Well, let's start with our piles. Cool. Let's add another note. The next one note will be my bearers. So let's add bearers. And the next one we need to add will be my floor joists. Next, we're going to put our flooring. And since this is going to be my wall description, I'm now going to start adding my studs. So let's find my timber. So do we have anything about the bottom plate? I don't know yet. Bottom plate. Yep. And then the next one we want is my studs. I'm not sure I've got anything about the top plate. Bottom plate. No, nothing about the top plate. Uh, what have I got? Main rafters. Yep. So I got loads of information about my main rafters. Click OK. And there it all is. So this now has a blue dot here, which I can move across to give me a little bit more room. I can move that across. It gives me a bit more room. I didn't bother to format these. So I'm going to format the body text now. I want this to be uh, left justified. I'd like it to be Arial Narrow, wherever that is. I'd like it to be 10 point. And we can choose spacing too sometimes. Cool. So there it is there. There's my Arial Narrow. You'll now, so I can now move that back across. And I can move this one back across. And so I get this sort of rather nice setting up here. Note spacing. What happens if I make that bigger? Oh, that's not quite what I want. Line spacing, 1.1. And you can see I've just got a little bit more room, 1.2. I can also give it two columns if I want. So that'll spread it across two columns. And this becomes really useful, this note database, because I reuse these notes together. So let's have a look. So here are my studs here. So let's double click on that stud there. Let's have a look at the stud. Um, and there's my note about the extra top plate there. So let's say, for example, this contract needs a 140. Or a, or a six inch uh, stud and I go OK and note what do I want to update the database yes please let's update my note database OK yes and that note is updated now it didn't update this note in here until I enter the viewport suddenly that note is now up to date so these two are connected and I won't get one note that goes out of sync with the other so I find that the note database extremely easy to use. It does take a while to set it up. I understand that. Uh, let's look at my notes manager again. This is the button to get access to it. And it's this note here that I'm actually editing. So I can actually go in. I can add notes. I can remove notes. I can edit notes. But the notes manager is the place to add your notes. Now, if you do have some text, if you import some text from another drawing, and you've got some information here. Let's call it, uh, what haven't I got? Uh, I'm going to create a note for, I think I've actually already got weatherboards. Uh, MC, MC760, Spelt it wrong, so it's color, color steel max, vertical cladding. Ah, this is direct fix. Okay, so I've now got a note. If I select that note, I can go up to text and I can go. Add text to database 
and it's going to add text it's going to look for selected text only because I've selected it um, and I'm going to exclude some text that I've already added I can choose all layers or I can just choose editable layers or just the active ones let's click OK and it says OK Jonathan where do you want to add this well there's some cladding there uh, let's select that one it's cladding I'm going to uh, add that over here and you can see it turns up like this so let's edit that and we're going to change the name of this and we're going to call it um, metal craft roofing or vertical roofing um, metal cladding metal cladding I'll get rid of the rest of the note okay and then okay again save changes yes so now if I go back and edit this and let's add another uh, add another note from my database and my cladding I want to add my metal cladding okay and I might want to move that metal cladding up to uh, let's put it after the studs okay and you can see it's put the metal cladding here so if you want to move or relocate all of these notes you can maybe it would be better if we had piles at the bottom and then the bearers on top of the pile so it looks more like the structure of our building floor joists flooring on top of the floor joist bottom plate there we've got our studs on top of our bottom plate then we've got our metal cladding and then we've got our rafters so I've just rearranged the entire note so there's just a couple of little tricks with the with the notes database I think the notes database is really powerful I, I use it all the time it speeds me up enormously and on one project I'll just copy the notes database to the next project edit the notes to suit that project and I do not try to have a single note database that does all projects it's just not going to work but thanks for watching